Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to the family, guys. Grab your tea, grab your tree, grab your drink, do whatever you need to do to get comfortable. Tash is gonna spill the tea straight, no chaser. Look at this Palo Santo. <clears throat> if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back to the channel, guys. Let's clear off these energies and let's dive. Jesus, wow. All right, something does not want to shut this out. So there's a lot of energy that just needs to be cleared off. So let's burn this fucking bitch right out. All right, and call in our ancestors, spirit guides, ancestors, oracles of the highest white light. I call you into my beautiful space and I ask for a clear, precise channel message and protection while I'm channeling this message for my beautiful co collective that's watching me now. Somebody might be a little bit tongue twisted because, yo, look, it doesn't want to shut out. So somebody is really having to pay the consequences for their actions because shit is really clearing out, guys. Things are being Bunched from your energy. Ooh, that was so nice when that went out. <laughs> the energy just completely shifted. So, spirit guides, ancestors, can you please close any negative door, any door other than the highest white light, so that I can give my beautiful collective panel collective reading that is more clear. Cheers, guys. Let's dig in. Mm. I got the witch's oracle. I got a couple decks. Tarot decks out, and I got all those oracle decks, okay? So stay tuned to the end. I'm going to get in and see exactly what's going on, get the overall energy, clarify it with some tarot, and then we're going to dig into the oracle decks, okay, guys? So which is oracle deck? Let's start off and see exactly what this story is that I'm digging into right now for my beautiful collective that's watching me. Remember to use your discernment. These are timeless general and collective readings. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just that. The messenger. Somebody's got fucking walls up, man. Somebody is pretending or trying to fucking, I don't know. They're, it's like they got, they're on guard or they're trying to protect the, their fortress. But I don't know, guys. Looks like as if something is really coming to fruition in its community. A lot of people know why you have your guards up or why you're protected or why people can't get into your house. It's a pond. And the transformation card with the healing. What else do we have here? Love and the white dress. Now, bottom of the deck is ghost. <laughs> All right, guys. Somebody has tried to haunt you, uh, tried to put some kind of distortion on you. All right. I'm telling you, <sighs> there was some kind of love, an innocent kind of love. An agape kind of love, but somebody is very much up in their feelings. It could be a community of people because you are a healer and somebody didn't want to see you for who you were and that you have transformed. Somebody is very much up in their feelings because they treated you badly. Maybe they ghosted you underneath it says identity. Yeah, they didn't, they didn't like who you were, so they wanted to replace you. So they ghosted you and found a replacement and is trying to protect their fortress that they built. Now the community sees why you have your guards up and why you're protecting yourself because a lot of people have tried to send you a lot of dark energy work, guys. I'm not going to lie, okay? And they're in their fucking feelings because you transformed it, alchemized it with love and you're fucking innocent. So whatever people have been trying to send to you, well, that's not going to fucking work now, is it? No, because you're the healer and you're healing a situation. But there's this love, okay, and this innocence. Somebody sees you as innocent, but they did this because you were innocent. So at the end of the day, it is what it is, guys, okay? So some kind of community is coming to terms with a situation or about you. Maybe why you ghosted somebody, maybe why you got ghosted. I don't know, but I had a download and um, we're going to see if it comes out in the cards. Okay, so spirit guides, let's tap in and see what's going on here. I really feel as though somebody had an identity problem and only picked friends, family, acquaintances, a lover, or whatever this is, because of the fact that you weren't like them. So they wanted to replace you in some kind of way. Somebody's in their feelings about this and you're clearing off the energy. Spirit, what's going on here? Let's get some cards going and let's tap into this. 
What is going on here? What do you want to tell my beautiful collective? We've got the Three of Pentacles. We got the war wheel. We got the five of swords in reverse. And then we got the five of wands in the upright. Oh my God. I'm telling you, somebody worked with somebody else, or at least they wanted to. Even if they wanted to work with you, they thought that they had some kind of wheel of fortune somewhere else. Now doesn't want to fight with you. They're fucking being defeated in the ancestral realm for trying to drag you into this conflict. Somebody is in their fucking feelings, and it's a big community of people. And now they see why you're fucking locked off. Three of cups. In the upright, the empress in the upright, the peace in reverse, and the ace of wands. Bottom of the deck is the leap of faith. Yeah, somebody is really upset because you took a leap of faith and healed the situation, whether this is internally or externally, whether this is past, present, future, whether this is your story or somebody around you or somebody playing in your energy. Somebody wanted to work with you, but instead they decided to work with these third parties. They listened to the external world, this mundane and mediocre kind of lifestyle kind of intrigued them. So they went towards that, thinking that they would get some kind of wheel of fortune, even though you were the empress. They still did this, but what they did was they tried to replace you. So they tried to, I don't know, it's like some kind of community of people have got somebody to coerce somebody to, I don't know, like doppelgang or copy? Some Something weird, though, because you were the empress. And a lot of people seen you celebrating. So what they wanted to do was, disrespect you and bring you no peace no enlightenment but these people are falling from grace they're seriously losing whatever battle they wanted to face and it was all because of ego envy jealousy they wanted to drag you into their conflict so that this way you wouldn't have peace but you have brand new beginnings you have source now what it's saying here with the three of cups uh the three of uh pentacles it says do what you love. A time of great personal growth is in your career and artistic endeavors, working with others in a cooperative manner. The Three of Cups says reasons to celebrate a community of friends, happy announcements regarding relationships or children. The Wheel, new beginnings, ends of, end of delay, a change in direction that offers happiness. The Empress, time to act upon your plans. Creativity is rewarded, a luxurious and re abundant resource. The Five of Swords says, this situation doesn't serve you. Release, it, uh, release your attachment to the outcome and consider taking a new lifting approach. Peace and says, release the past. There is more enriching future coming. Let go and let God. The Five of Wands says, the, challenge you are, uh, the challenges can be resolved. Withdraw from this drama of others. Have patience for yourself and those around you. And the Ace of Gabriel says, a gift of passion, opportunity, and inspiration, a chance to do something amazing, a sense of wonder. Now, listen, a lot of people wanted to work with you, but take from you because they knew that the Wheel of Fortune lied with you. Like I said, my fucking download. Okay, somebody really tried to, um, I don't know, somebody picked a copycat, whether this is a lover, a friend, a family, a relationship, whatever this is. This is what you have healed from, and this is why somebody is in their emotions, okay? They picked a copycat because they didn't want you to evolve or because you didn't want them. Take it as it resonates, guys, but you're the original OG. This is why somebody is trying to copy you. They settled because clearly it, the copycat's easier. Okay. They're clearly lower than you, and it's only because you said no to them, or you rejected them, or they were disrespectful to you. You took a leap of faith. Faith. It says, believe in yourself and listen to your heart. Do what gives you joy. You worked on what you needed to work on. You celebrated when you could celebrate, and you celebrated yourself. And you still got the wheel because everything you touch turns to gold. So somebody is really up in their feelings because you are the original OG. And, you know, they picked some basic bitch or some basic opportunity. I'm telling you, mediocre and mundane. And, yo, their karma is playing them right now. This woman or this man that they chose, this opportunity, this friendship, this family. These people have all ganged up to try to get somebody to pick somebody out of we're going to find out. I'm going to dig in. But 
clearly this is a false flame or somebody who was your twin flame. We're going to find out, okay? Spirit guides, what's going on here? Let's clarify this three of wands. I mean, this three of pentacles, sorry. So, the three of wands. I don't say nothing for nothing. So, you could be having something come in right now and somebody is really upset because you're doing what you love. And somebody thought they were doing what they loved, but oh my God. <sighs> yeah, it's the eight of cups in reverse with the, eight, with the seven of cups in reverse. Somebody doesn't have any more options. They really thought that they were doing what they loved, but now they have no options. They're aimlessly wandering, wondering what the fuck choice they made because obviously they picked the basic bitch like or a basic opportunity, guys. Take it as it resonates. It doesn't have to be a relationship. It could be completely platonic. But somebody ghosted you because of their identity issues and then they tried to take your identity and celebrate with other people look see the emperor in reverse i'm telling you this emperor in reverse really tried to celebrate with other people it's the hierophant maybe somebody got into a relationship a partnership but it, clearly it was based on no morals no integrity no dignity and because you would not conform to this emperor because you wouldn't bend to his rules somebody this emperor wanted to control you and because you didn't want to control or conform to his outdated belief systems patriotic system whatever the fuck is going on here guys they decided to celebrate with somebody who might have looked like you i don't know maybe they were your family or something but it that didn't that didn't work out very well now did it no this karma wants to be uh, this karmic wants to be you and they can't be you you're fucking original og and uh, clearly, you're being re reassigned a new twin flame because this motherfucker be crazy. That's why the wheel is there, guys. You got the wheel of fortune in your favor. Somebody thought that because you were the nine of, oh, wow, okay, nine of swords with the moon in reverse. Ooh, whatever's in the dark is coming to light. And that's why that Palo Santo was fucking blazing. Oh, no, it's the magician in the, uh, the Meg. So that's the fool. No, the magician, excuse me. The magician in reverse. That's why somebody's uh, freaking out. Because all that magic and energy work that they sent on an innocent is all fucking coming back. You're still getting this new beginning, guys. But somebody thought they were going into a new beginning. Clearly got them in a mental entrapment. Can't eat, can't sleep. They were extremely cruel to you. Trying to put energy work, dark magic, because they wanted to control you. And they did it with third parties. A community of people, guys. And now all those community of people are drowning in the pond of their own fucking shit. Because <laughs> you transformed that fucking magic that somebody tried to do to you. Because you're the fucking empress, yo. Somebody just hated your position, hated your status. The fact that you were the original. You allowed, I don't know, maybe somebody allowed these fake friends to tell them about you when they didn't even know you. You're the fucking empress. Spirit guides, let's see what's going on here. Yeah, the Ace of Discs. Are you fucking kidding me with the Page of Cups? Yo, you're the muse. Somebody's coming towards you with some kind of apology or an offer or forgiveness or something. They see you as that Ace of Pentacles. No matter what, you are a gift to God, from God. Uh, a gift to people. You are abundant. You are valuable. And somebody didn't see that. Now they don't want to fight with you because clearly they're all up in their fucking feelings. Wow, we got two coming right out. We got three. It's the strength in reverse. Princess of Cups and the Knight of Swords. Yeah, somebody is mad that you spoke your truth. Somebody's coming in. They don't want to fight anymore. They know that they can find a solution. The solution is just fucking telling the truth and stop being so fucking stupid in the background. Somebody is mad because you're original OG from the 90s. You don't got to do spell work. And if you want to hurt somebody, that person's going to know it was you because... Yo, you want people to know. Like, you don't do nothing for nothing. You want people to know when you do something. This is why you're fucking honest about it. You ain't got no fucking shame. You want people to hurt, you're going to know that it was you who caused the hurt. Like, come on. Somebody is fucking stupid and feeling very lustful. They got their tail between their legs because of this choice that they made to send this magic to somebody who is clearly the muse. They didn't want you to have peace. They didn't want you to release the past or release them or go towards your future. 
They wanted you to stay in your own emotions. And you're like, bitch, get the fuck out the way. Move, bitch. Get out the way. Your love allowed you to take this leap of faith, to believe in yourself and listen to your heart and do what was best for you. Now, somebody somebody fucked with your peace, and that was that was a stupid fucking thing to do. Look, Five of Swords is in the reverse again. I'm telling you, they're fucking defeated. It was a stupid fucking thing to do. Why would you why would you fuck with somebody's peace when all they want is stability? The Four of Pentacles, you got the fucking power, guys. And this is why somebody is so fucking upset with you. Because no matter how much distortion or or you know, they could even be sending you chaos magic, death magic, like, you know, breakup spells, all kinds of stupid shit, you know, even just slander, gossip, you know. I'm telling you, this these karmics want to be you and they can't even fucking hold a candle to you. This is why they're trying to drag you into their conflicts because you still got stability no matter what because the ancestors are the one who guides you. Six of pentacles, you give and receive. You're beneficial to the fucking world. Why the fuck would they eliminate you? Why would they put you in harm's way? And why would they? No. Everything is for a fucking reason. So we need to learn, guys. These people are realizing that you are a fucking success story. And they, in order for them to have success, they're going to need to really start giving and stop fucking taking from people. Queen of Swords, because off with their fucking masks. It is, guys. This is what... These people want to fucking fight with you. They want to drag you into their conflicts. And then look what happens. Their shit gets exposed. Ace of Wands, you got that fucking passion, that drive. And you have high boundaries. So it is what it is. People think that you're nice. You're not nice. You're fucking kind. There's a big fucking difference. And you don't have to be. You choose to be. Somebody wanted you not to have this transformation. It's the death in reverse. Somebody didn't want you to tap into your, your gifts, to have passion, to have drive, to go into a new beginning, to have a sense of wonder in life. They wanted you to feel melancholy. Oh, and it's the fucking six of wands, but you're still getting victory. You see how that fucking works? Bottom of the deck is the ten of pentacles. This family, this corporation, or this community, they are fucking got a lot of fucking skeletons in their fucking closet, but I got a lot to say about you. Really, it's really fucked up, guys. They slept on you only to, they slept and fumbled you for a fucking basic bitch, a basic opportunity, a basic guy, a basic fucking whatever, guys. At the end of the day, the Ten of Pentacles is there. This is why. It's because they got no motherfucking legacy, so they're trying to steal yours. Nah, it's not gonna happen. This is why you took the leap of faith and you healed, you transformed. And somebody is really in their feelings because you have, look, see, they're really in their feelings, nostalgic memories about you because clearly they should have worked with you. Instead, they didn't. Now they have no more options. It is what it is, guys. They're aimlessly fucking wandering. See, self-worth, you know your self-worth and your self-worth and your high expectations for yourself and the reason, the, the fact that you don't have any codependencies, any addictions, anything that's going to leech on when somebody sends you magic. You know, you it's all about intentions, guys. And your intentions are pure. That's why this magic can't stick to you. You have self-worth. And, yo, know, somebody is really fucking upset and is coming in the, with some kind of information about growth. A lot of people are mad at your growth, guys. Not going to lie. And they can't fucking fight with you anymore because you are the fucking muse. And they're, they got their tail between their legs. This is why you grew. And this is why you have high standards and high boundaries. Because you do give and take. So if people want to say shit, it is what it is. Your fucking wish fulfillment either way. So you can do it alone or you can do it with somebody. But if you're going to do it with somebody, it's going to be because you want them. Because a lot of people are trying to give you a, you know, a put you in a challenging situation. Drag you into their conflicts and shit. But you're like, nah, I'm, I'm straight. But they can approach because you are the queen of swords. So you're very open. You're very receptive. But you're super intelligent. So if they don't speak the truth, you're going to be off with their heads. And people need to learn to rub you the right way because you are fucking wish fulfillment. And somebody should have, you know, treated you better. But because they didn't value themselves properly, they went towards something lower than them. And then they tried to, you know, use your energy or replace your energy. 
And this is when you said, fuck this. You released this. You purged it out. You let go. And you surrendered into something new. And uh, these third parties are really fucked up. I'm telling you, somebody wants to, uh, wants to apologize to this empress because they see you as the muse. You are the fucking gift. They know why you walked away, why you said no, because clearly somebody is very lustful and you got the fucking power to say no. The fuck? You don't got to stay in something that's clearly not for you, especially somebody who's trying to fuck up your peace. Yo, I'm telling you, you packed your bags, you had the courage and you walked away. You said no, you had the power. Now somebody has the power to do the same if they're living in this kind of environment. We all got free will, guys. Somebody's closed off because of the fact that you're getting victory. I'm telling you, no matter how much energy work, manipulation, gossip, slander, whatever this is, guys, it doesn't work. You are still transforming no matter how many people don't want you to transform. <laughs> Stupid. And you're in integrating a union. But there's decision here in, har in uh, autumn time. Somebody is about to make a decision to celebrate your gifts and your abundance. There's a reunion, a soul tie. You might not know this person. You might know this person. But you have to take care of yourself. Change your energy, guys. Don't go towards somebody who did this. Do you the fuck? No. About time you take a leap of faith into something new. Because this family, there is nothing left of them. The moon, there was too much in the dark. They really did a lot of energy work to you or deceptions. And this is why the universe is there. It's time to end the cycles. Travel. See the world. Do something different with yourself. With the people you love. Because no matter how much nostalgic memories somebody has for you, yo, the truth is the truth. And this is why you have your guards up because people have done you dirty, done you, sh you, you, you gave these people nothing but love and you were innocent through all of this stuff. And these people have ganged up with you all because you are the healer. <laughs> it's stupid. And they're trying to pretend to be you. They're just the fucking, fucking fake version of you. It's ridiculous. Somebody needs to really wake the fuck up. I, I meant what I said. You fucking meant what you said. You said what you meant. You stood on that ten toes down. You aren't dealing with these fucking people from the past. That's the fucking truth. That's your self-worth. You know these people are jealous. They're jealous of you. They're very jealous people. They don't want to see people get up. They Even if this is your lover, guys, this person was in competition with you, this emperor, was in, comp in reverse, was competition with this empress in the reverse, in the upright. So, of course, they went towards something that was at their vibration, an empress in reverse, somebody who didn't take care of their fucking self. And now they're jealous to see that you are wish fulfillment and you're going to get beautiful blessings. Ace of Wands, I'm telling you, Ace of Wands is there twice. You got this big dick energy, guys. So even if you're a female, yo, you got those big balls. Like, what the fuck? Or it's the fact that these somebody is upset because of the fact that they didn't have enough balls to to, uh, to take care of you. Like, they couldn't, they couldn't be with you, so they went towards something lower and then pretended, like, as if that was you. <laughs> like, yeah, see? As soon as you surrendered this person, this person got super fucking needy because they were the codependent one. They were codependent on you. They needed you. You were the one who took care of them. But they refused to say that and said they wanted to get somebody lower because then they wouldn't challenge them to be better. But as soon as you walked away, surrender, purged, now this person is fucking in love with you, begging. I love you. I love you. I love you. In the ethers. Yo, somebody wants to apologize to this empress. I'm telling you. They need some fucking balance because <laughs> that's why you walk the fuck away from them because clearly they weren't, they couldn't give you peace of mind. So you walked away. You took the courage. Now somebody is scared to talk to you because they know that you got the power. And um, you, you, you need space from this fucking person. Emotional space. You've already been like uh, emotionally detached from this person, but... Maybe you need physical space from them. I don't know, but somebody needs some fucking space from this person in order to tap into that creativity. Somebody feels as though you're so fucking guarded because it's like you're, they think like you're sitting on some kind of high throne or something, but it's only because they put you there. That there's, You know, you didn't put yourself there. They put you there in their mind. It is what it is, guys. Somebody wants a fresh new start with you, but... What's meant to be is going to be. And you meant what the fuck you said. Like, yo, these people are just jealous. So they wanted to make you feel some kind of way, you know, like how they feel jealous. <laughs> it is what it is. 
you are wish fulfillment. You meant what you said. You said what you meant. You prayed. You hoped. And now this person is fucking yearning for you because they clearly are nostalgic for you. They know what the fuck they chose. And now they're feeling some kind of way. And this basic bitch or basic opportunity is wishing that you were around. That's the fucking truth, guys. These people are fucking in denial. Denial that they want you around. It's these third. Oh, my God. Yeah, somebody is on a hamster wheel dog shit. And these jealous people are envious of you because they're on survival mode. They're on that daily hustle, daily grind. And it's these fucking karmic third parties. They seriously didn't want you to have this brand new beginning and get wish fulfillment. <laughs> they're learning a karmic lesson about getting involved in someone's shit because someone's about to interview. Now, you had a conversation with this emperor in reverse, bossy, you end up contractor it's a follower guys so this person followed the crowd listened to the crowd and this crowd said go with this person or be in this crowd or do this job or whatever it is they dictated their life right and you had a conversation with this person you talked to them you told them that these people were no fucking good for them and that they didn't want the best for them but they didn't listen to you instead they went towards what was easy right and clearly what is easy is not good for you and that's why they want forgiveness because you balance this shit out you're fucking happy you have happiness. You're whole. You're overwhelmed with joy. You're always smiling. Even if fucking you go through the worst possible situations, you make life what it is. You had that conversation with that person and you decided to purge your energies, let go. And that's when they, you know, found out they loved you. Like, whatever. Anyways. And now they're afraid to talk to you because they know they're locked down in this mental fucking prison of the mind. They knew that they weren't your, they wanted to cause you no peace. And now they have no fucking peace. They were plugged the fuck into you. You were the plug. You were the gas. You were the reason why these people, karmics and this person, got up every single fucking morning. They watched you. They stalked you. They talked about you. They couldn't fucking get you out of their fucking mind. So you eliminated yourself to see if it was you or if it was them. And clearly it was them because they're in the same fucking situations and you are a whole different level. That's why they're in their fucking feelings, this community of people, because you transformed, became the healer and took a leap of faith away from this karmic energy, away from this, uh, even the generational traumas, something, guys. And you ignited the masculine and feminine within yourself. So you had a soul ascension. You know you're the plug. You know people are tuned into you. You know they're connected to you. So you cut the fucking cords. And now somebody's feeling some kind of way because... Yo, they have an identity problem. Look, somebody loves you unconditionally, but they chose to do this to you. This is why Source is giving you um, a replacement. Uh, not a replacement. What is it called? A reassigned twin flame. Because clearly, this person could have been your twin flame. But what the fuck? No. So, ancestors are redesigned. Re Look. Somebody was a drama fucking queen. They were thirsty, causing so much chaos. Male or female, it's irrelevant. Or maybe they chose this chaos because it was comfortable to them. They chose somebody who continuously chased after them, who needed them. And you didn't need them. You wanted them. You helped them. But they would not help you. So you walk the fuck away. And look at this fucking person is fucking in their feelings on a roller coaster. Really high highs, really low lows. Motherfucker is bipolar. This person is bipolar. And they're having an adrenaline rush because of the fact that they're jealous that you're getting some kind of attention and they know that this fucking basic bitch or whatever, this karmic, really wants to be you. But they can't. Yo, know? they can't. It's fucked up. They really had these fake friends allowing them to choose their future. And you chose to walk the fuck away. They picked the copycat. This is what it is. No matter how much unconditional love they had, you're triggering the fuck out of these people because you are speaking the fucking truth, guys. And you got unconditional love coming in. You got fresh new fucking start all around the board. These people have an opportunity to change their life. You have an opportunity to change your life. Everybody has an opportunity to change their motherfucking life. Choose well, guys. But the same 24 hours, this is why people are upset with you because you're fucking innocent and you did everything with love. This is why you're going to get just that love. The five of wands. Look, somebody can't fight with you anymore. They got to find peaceful self-resolution. Want to bring you into their motherfucking conflicts. They're just conflicted. That's it. They're not facing the truth. They're being irrational and you found reasoning. <laughs> and they're mad. They're mad, mad. But let them because that's the cycle of life. The timeless dance. The dance of life, yo. If you're not fucking triggering people, well, then they're not going to fucking change. Trigger the fuck out of them. 
it is what it is, guys. Look, it's harvest time. You're gathering those motherfucking blessings in this harvest time. So we all reap what we sow, guys. What the fuck you putting out there? Tell your friends, tell your family. Be careful what you're putting out there because somebody's on a charmatic, charmatic journey. Attuning to their vision quests, you're fucking on your purpose. And if people don't like that, too fucking bad for them. They say you're not of the light because you swear you smoke weed or whatever, whatever. You ain't hurting nobody and you definitely ain't hurting yourself. So they need to check themselves. I had somebody message me a while ago inviting me out um, for Halloween and they laughed and said somebody had messaged them and says, oh, uh, people who read cards are do the devil's work. And I'm like, <laughs> every time somebody tells me that, I'm like, you better check that person who told you that because they're the one who is really, really the problem. <laughs> because, yo, it is all about intentions, right? So it's about intentions of the person who is reading. So if this person has these kind of thought processes because they're hiding so much and they're scared that someone like me is going to tell the truth because you're touching earth and you're planting something new they're scared that you're going to plant something within them that light and they're going to have no choice but to wake the fuck up because they know they know that you are dangerous you are the truth you are on your shamanic journey so people will say bad shit about you but it's only because they are re reflecting on themselves and projecting it towards you you're planting something new. People don't have a fucking choice but to start dancing with life as above, so below. What you put out, you get back, guys. That's why somebody wants forgiveness because you're happy as a motherfucker no matter what. Because you got that hidden knowledge, that Kaushik records, the silent understanding. Yo, I'm telling you, somebody didn't want to appreciate you and they wanted to go towards basic things, mundane things, mediocre things instead of tra having that transformation. And now they are in the feelings because... They don't have no legacy. And you ended this. You went on a new journey. Maybe you might, like I said, you have this new twin flame coming in. You don't know this person. It's going to be like a, a surprise. <laughs> you might have seen them somewhere, but you don't know this person at all. So you're going to get to know them, okay? So it says, transformation. I am constantly evolving. I improve my inwardly by working on my weaknesses and, in, and redefining my strengths. Life ensures that I'm presenting with situations that will help me learn and grow. I am aware of my, of my progress and open my wings to light. See, somebody didn't want to have the transformation, wanted to go towards something that was easy that they can transform into you. But at the end of the day, they don't have your heart. They don't have love. They don't have compassion. They're not really innocent. Not at all. And people wanted to do this because they thought you were naive because you were innocent. You're not fucking naive. You're fucking powerful. And you can really fuck people up. But if you fuck people up, they're going to know it was you because you're going to do it right in their motherfucking face. You're a real OG. And that's why somebody is feeling some kind of way because they can't fucking replace you. And yo, all they had to do was transform, but nope. They wanted to choose basic shit instead. 21, reduced down to a three. See, they had to just get grounded, mind, body, and soul. The three is the empress. They had to pick a real empress instead. They picked somebody who wanted, wanted to be you, but clearly couldn't. And this is why they fumbled you and chose a basic bitch, yo. And you are not choosing basic, not doing this. Life is not mediocre and mundane. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be all melancholy, guys. We can balance this out and understand that we are protected throughout everything. Oh, okay, my phone is dying, so clearly somebody wants you to die or wants your light to be shut out, wants you not to finish something, okay, guys? But it's not possible. We're going to do this. So, number 21. It's the stone guardian. Okay? Support, faith, and vulnerability. Each of us is a child of someone. As adults, however successful, important, or busy you are, from time to time, everyone needs support, guidance, and protection. This card suggests there is a sense of vulnerability about you, but it is important to know that your spiritual guides are never far away. 
Even though these higher beings are not physical, you are never alone, and they stand beside you to support your every mood and decision. Do not confuse faith with religion. Rather, faith is having strength to believe that there is a force greater than yourself, than ourselves ready to help us through difficult periods. Your protector may be an earthbound angel. Therefore, do not be afraid to talk to someone close. If you need advice, it may be a friend or a relative. You will be surprised at where the support comes from at this time. I'm telling you, somebody is coming in, an earthbound spirit to help you, earthbound angel to help you, to give you some comfort. Maybe you were the angel to somebody and, yo, they fucking just shit on you. And that's, that, 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 that's a shame. That's, it sucks. But at the end of the day, remember, religion is for people who are scared of death. And spiritual, spirituality are for those who already have overcame, who have already died. Okay, so let's go down the rabbit hole with the um, Alice in Wonderland deck and see what's going on here. And it says, the moment of, a moment of regret, nostalgia, ideal, uh, idolizing the past and fearing you've made a mistake, telling you somebody doesn't want to fight anymore. They want to put down those fucking guards, this community, this of people who have alienated you. Now they're seeing that, they're, yeah, maybe they were the fucking problem. Painting the roses red, covering up their errors. See, people were calling you down because they're trying to cover up their errors. And now they feel, you know, nostalgic because <sighs> you did this all with love. People need to forget who you were. Forget who you are. I don't know. But those conditions are falling away. Those outdated belief systems. <sighs> the memory no longer defines you okay somebody needs to change their idea of you because a lot of people need to keep up there's immense effort advancements you have advanced quickly and transformed planted seeds watched it grow as the empress and you do what you need to do it's time to act upon your plans creativity is rewarded you deserve a luxurious and abundant life with full of resources a soft life you deserve this and you tapped into those akashic records and you showed others that they too can change their fucking life. Get out of this fucking pond of emotions and stop putting stupid shit on people. These karmics are fucking learning a crazy lesson. And it's checkmate, motherfuckers. Because you cut these cords and somebody's in a mental imprisonment, confined. Because you're happy? These happiness haters? These spiritual haters? They're trying to paint the roses red, cover, cover up their errors. But follow the white rabbit. Curiosity meets opportunity. See, they kept being curious about you and then boom, they, they, you opened up that door for them. They had no choice. See, this is why they alienate you, they, but they're learning. And this is why people will rather push you away because the closer they come to you, the more they pay attention to you, the more they have to transform because you're just that fucking powerful. And if people want to fucking fuck up your peace... Well, then you show them what the fuck peace really is by eliminating yourself and cutting the cords from this family who was clearly keeping a lot in the dark, trying to make sure that you felt some kind of way for not being involved when really you're the one who took a leap of faith because you believed in yourself. You had unconditional love for yourself. And yo, somebody fucking tried to escape, go on a new adventure. And I, I don't know, somebody is coming into um, vacation, you or have some kind of agreement and compromise with you because they're sad, they're broken, they're feeling alone, these friends, family, acquaintances, because look, I told you, they, they, took, they chose some thirsty-ass bitch who wanted to be you, some thirsty-ass guy who wanted to be, be you, friends, family, acquaintances, these people were drama queens, drama kings, drama starters, causing all kinds of chaos because somebody loved you and now they can't fucking quench their thirst because you ain't no one near, like you're just like, you're gone. I'm going to end it here because my phone is dying. But look, somebody worship. Somebody is upset because you worship nature. They tried to construct some kind of energy to stop you they, because you had these psychic abilities. You were the prophet, so they wanted to shut you the fuck up. They didn't want you to plant these seeds in these people. They didn't want to plant the seeds into you. They didn't want, I mean, uh, they didn't want you to plant the seeds into them. Yo, fuck. You are fucking lit and you're helping a lot of people, even these karmics. So whatever. It is what it is, guys. It says, I can't stop thinking about you. I replay the conversations over and over. And I wonder if you are happy without me, guys. These people are very much up in their head because they ain't happy without you because clearly they're watching you like fucking mad and they 
they clearly picked somebody who they can ch transform into you. It's fucking weird. And they play the conversations over and over. So they like actually want this person to talk like you, dress like you, smell like you. It's really fucking odd. But oh, whatever. Anyways, that's why they can't stop thinking about you. And this karmic no, 